future middle level teachers. Welcome to week 7 in MLED 473 Principles and Practices of Middle School. I look forward to examining your second technology tools and also your second discussion synthesis assignment since some of you have gone back and revised them. I appreciate the supportive comments that you're giving each other. However, if you see something that could be made stronger, please do not hesitate to say so. Help each other grow as professionals. I'll talk more about the discussion synthesis assignment later. This week our focus is on cues, questions, and advance our organizers to foster adolescent achievement. You'll read Chapter 4, Cues, Questions, and Advance Organizers in Classroom Instruction That Works. Please take notes for your next discussion synthesis. I suggest including page numbers so you can reference them in your next discussion synthesis. This is a place that I'd like to see more of the groups take advantage of. So you should be citing the work that you've been asked to read. Next, you'll read the same chapter and title in Using Technology with Classroom Instruction That Works. I'd like for you to review the technology tool rubric and start to think about what you'd like to develop for your third technology tool, which will be due next week. I'd also like for you to be able to think about your middle school tour and interview. The assignment isn't due until March 23rd, but this is when you should start thinking about getting it completed, so you've got plenty of time. As I type this, I can't recall if I have a rubric for the assignment yet, but there will be one if there isn't. Lastly, going back to the discussion synthesis, since this is going to be our third one, what I'm looking for in your synthesis papers is for growth. You should be improving upon what you've written each time. So um, from the first paper, I was pleased with most of the information I saw, but I know it can all be better. I'm looking to see that you are referring to your Teaching in the Middle School book and also your Classroom Instruction That Works book as you're writing down your comments. It's great if you go ahead and add some personal anecdotes in there if you'd like. However, I want to see that you are reading professionally and writing professionally. And also, you do not need to um, submit a Word document. I want a link to the Google Doc so I can make my comments on your Google Doc. And please share it with me from the beginning of its inception. A little bit about next week. Um, this is when you will have our 50 question online midterm test. It will be all multiple choice and fill in the blank. Some of the questions that you'll be asked will be um, from your self assessment tests that you should have taken. And again, if there's any questions on the self check quizzes, let me know. I apologize that some of you were not being, were not seeing the results because that's what. I want. And also with your midterm test, you'll have two chances. So you should be able to see what you missed the first time and then go back and take it again. So rather than just taking it two times and not knowing how you did the first time. So again, I'm looking for growth. Also, if you have any questions for me, please post them to the discussion area. If I don't hear from, um, if you don't hear from me, please send me a text. I'm going to be without internet access on Monday and Wednesday of this week, but I will have my cell phone with me. So if you've got something urgent, please get in touch with me that way. Thanks, everyone, and have a great week.